The train's driver had an unexpected epiphany after a pack of wolves blocked his path, but the wolves didn't mean any harm, giving one's life to save others is an unusual occurrence, and the idea that an untamed animal would do the same for an unknown person is even more astounding, as a result, the train driver was surprised to see why the wolf pack had darted out in front of the car. Dennis worked on railroads in a tiny community, even though his route was simply a short one that connected them. Next cities and a few tiny villages, he still cherished it, the tracks led him into the nearby woods, which made for a breathtaking journey. As a young child, Dennis developed an early interest in trains because both his father and grandpa had been train drivers and would frequently take him along on their rounds. When he grew older, he made the decision to follow in his father's footsteps after quickly realizing that the local train depot was the sole reliable source of income when Dennis was old enough. He relocated to the nearby city to attend college and pursue his engineering degree, following in the footsteps of his grandfather and father, he took this action because he anticipated being able to increase his pay at the rail terminal by obtaining the necessary credentials. Dennis received several employment offers from some of the biggest and busiest stations in the city after earning his degree in engineering, he did not, however, appreciate the city's frantic pace or its dents. Population, Dennis made the decision to work at the local train station upon returning to his hometown, he was at last back in the serene surroundings and gorgeous trees he so much loved, initially, Dennis was assigned to be a second driver due to his inexperience, T is meant that in order to fully understand the nuances of the job, he would need to apprentice under a senior driver. Dennis was considered prepared to take over a train as the first driver after a few months, he was given the task of operating freight trains, which he did all over Siberia but it was something he discovered while operating one of these trains that would permanently alter his course in life, Dennis's day had begun normally enough, he got up and proceeded to his neighborhood train depot, where he was given the task of driving a freight train for the day. Dennis enjoyed driving through the recently fallen snow and taking in the pristine beauty of the forest blanketed in the soft, powdery frozen water. Especially since it was the midst of winter, mysterious dark thing appeared on the tracks approximately two miles ahead of him when he drove through a very isolated part of the route, bordered on all sides by woodlands. The object was too far away for Dennis to see at first, but when the train approached it, the driver immediately identified the source of the impediment. They were animals, a pack of wolves precisely, and it did not appear as though they would be leaving the traces anytime soon. Dennis blew the train whistle so that the animals wouldn't be harmed, but none of the wolves moved, the driver attempted to move the critters off the rails multiple times, but they were unyielding, Dennis realized he would have to choose as the train approached, either he would stop the train and attempt to reposition the pack before continuing on his way, or he would keep it moving and risk running over the entire pack of wolves. Dennis hesitated only a moment before he pressed the emergency. Stop lever, causing the train to drift gently to a stop, Dennis could only pray that the car would stop in time to spare the animals on the tracks from suffering when the wheels squealed against the rails, he closed his eyes, not wanting to see what might turn out to be a fatal moment, Dennis exhaled a breath of relief when, happily, the train stopped a short distance from the wolf pack, Dennis observed that the animals were behaving abnormally when he opened his eyes to check on them all, they, had all begun to wail and had clustered into a tiny circle, as though they were concealing something, now that the train had stopped and the threat had passed, the animals started to cross the tracks and return to the forest, Dennis, though, observed something when they were leaving that he found unbelievable, a human appeared to be lying on the tracks in the center of the circle of wolves, Dennis couldn't quite tell who it was from the train, however, he was aware that he couldn't just abandon them to shiver in such a hazardous location, Dennis found a poker and grabbed it up, scanning the area for some sort of weapon in case any of the wolves attempted to approach too closely, before stepping out of the train cabin and onto the tracks below, he took one more look around the woods to be sure the animals had really disappeared, the driver approached the figure on the tracks with caution and gasped when he realized what was truly going on, there was a woman lying in front of him, and, she looked to be expecting, in a hurry, Dennis crossed the final few steps to make sure the woman was still breathing, 
the driver started to gently shake the woman to make sure she was alright after feeling her neck for a pulse with a hazy awakening. The woman turned to face the driver, Dennis noticed she was awake and asked if she felt comfortable walking before gently assisting her to stand. The woman was so cold that he escorted her back to the train cabin and warmed her with a big blanket. And a mug of coffee he carried with him, Dennis questioned the young lady about how she got into such a terrible predicament when she had calmed down and was able to speak, the woman told him that she had gone for a stroll in the woods since she thought they were so lovely covered in snow, she was traveling a trail when all of a sudden she heard a deep growl coming from behind her, she had looked over her shoulder and noticed a bear not too far away, she had run screaming in every direction. Scared, until the bear gave up and abandoned her, the woman did not want to follow her tracks back because the bear was heading in that direction, but once she was secure, she realized that she did not know what area of the woods she had ended up in, the woman had wandered into the woods seeking assistance, hoping to come across a nearby village, when the pack of wolves emerged from the woods, she was about to lose hope, the woman was amazed by what they actually did, even though at first she was. Afraid they would hurt her, the pack leader came over to sniff at the woman's belly, as if he knew she carried a kid inside of her, the wolf howled when he turned to face his pack, then he turned and started walking in one direction, giving the woman a look as if he were urging her to follow him, she started to follow the dogs since she had nowhere else to go and realized that if she stayed outside, she may die along with her child. They brought her to these tracks, Dennis discovered her. Unconscious in the middle of the tracks because, while approaching them for a closer look, she had stumbled over a secret rock and slammed her head on the ground, Dennis was in awe after hearing the woman's story, this mom and her infant might have perished in the cold if these wolves hadn't shown up, Dennis started to get the train rolling after assuring the woman that he would return her home safely, Dennis and the woman observed something in the trees as it began to move once more, it didn't. Take them long to understand that the train was being observed by the pack of wolves, who seemed to be making sure Dennis and the woman were safe to leave the region, the figures of the wolves vanished when the train gained speed, but Dennis and the woman will always remember that day because they risked their own lives to save two innocent lives that concludes the first narrative, let's see another one that is comparable. This irritated stepmother assumed her husband would sympathize with her. When she abandoned her disabled daughter in the forest. After being abandoned by herself in a hazardous area, the girl was surprised to see a wild wolf acting in an unexpected way when Victor and Olga spotted the luggage in front of their door, they were astounded by what they saw, her granddaughter owned it, but she was nowhere to be found, they became concerned right away, their granddaughter Mila was a city girl, and they were not only in the forest with all of its hazards, not only was she not safe, but she was also confined to a wheelchair, how? Could she have ended up this way, they were away for the day and were unaware that the girl would be arriving, how could she be anywhere, they hurried outside to follow her wheelchair tracks because they had to find her, however, the blood in their veins froze when they heard a wolf growling, Mila might be seriously endangered, although the couple had experienced many difficult things in their life, they couldn't fathom anything bad happening to their favorite person at their most cherished. Location, it would be utterly disastrous, they never faltered once when they sprinted through the jungle in search of her, they knew this spot like the back of their hands, after all, they had spent decades living here, and they would always remember every stone, leaf, and limb, Victor and Olga were eager to settle down on their land in the forest as a newlywed couple, not quite isolated, it was close enough to a small village to provide them with the freedom and independence they needed for. Their growing family, they were ecstatic to welcome their baby boy into the world and desired a large family, unfortunately, though, the birth went badly, and the doctors informed them that they would not be able to have any more children, Olga was heartbroken by the news, but Victor was content with his family, all he needed was his son and his wife, whom they had built, however, their environment was insufficient for his son, he detested being a farmer, and because there wasn't much to amuse. Him in the tiny village, Victor tried to impart all of his knowledge on him, but he showed no interest, he detested being in the wilderness and the forest, he left for the city's college as soon as he was old enough, and after securing employment there, he seldom ever returned home, they didn't see much of him for a while, even though it was just an hour away, the city seemed like a different world, though they hoped their kid would leave them in some tiny way, they wanted him to pursue his goals, Olga was sorely missing her boy, 
but she began showing her love for the little wild animals that ended up on her front porch as soon as it was apparent that he didn't feel the same way, she had always enjoyed taking care of animals, and she continued to rescue more during this difficult time, Victor painstakingly crafted tiny splints for her to use as bird wings or as little enclosures for her animals. She was aiding creatures who felt alone, just like she did, in order to fill the vacuum. Left by her son's departure abruptly, their son contacted and expressed his desire to pay them a visit, he surprised everyone that day by bringing his future wife, from their first glimpse of her, Victor and Olga fell in love, they knew their son would be in good care because of her kindness and compassion, but like me, she was a city girl who had no interest in farming, though they merely wanted their kid to be happy, it was a little depressing that they might one day have no one to take over. The property, it felt, for a moment, like they had their son back, it seemed like he was losing him since he had denigrated their way of life for so long, however, he now frequently visited with his spouse, and the two of them enjoyed agricultural vacations, the couple's family and their hearts were growing, they felt as though they had a daughter too, their son and daughter-in-law gave them the greatest gift ever during one of those holiday get-togethers when they brought their infant. Granddaughter, M.A.A., to meet her grandparents for the first time, Olga and Victor were in disbelief at their good fortune, they had everything they could have ever wanted, and when Mila grew older, she made all the grown-ups in her life happier yet, since her grandparents were the only pair she had, her mother wanted to make sure she had lots of time to get to know them and that they had a wonderful relationship, she therefore frequently took her daughter to see them, occasionally, while their son was at work, she even came by herself with her daughter, Mila was an amazing child who cherished the farm and its inhabitants, she was even given the opportunity to come visit on her own when she was older, and it was then that she discovered what a secret was, Mila and her grandparents were taking a stroll through the woods when they unexpectedly came upon a depressing scene, they didn't have to fear the wolves inside the shallow wolf den, it contained three puppies, but only one of them was still alive. The mother wolf seems to have had an accident of some kind because she would never have let her pups go hungry, Victor knew a wolf mother would never do that, but it appeared as though she had left one day and never come back, Mila was devastated by the sight, which broke her heart, they scooped up and took home the third pup, though, because Olga was adamant that they would save him, they promised young Mila that this would remain their secret since they knew their son, no matter. How big or how old, would go crazy if he found out that his daughter was hanging out with a wolf, Victor appeared to be constructing a wolf bed this time, in case the mother wolf was simply having problems and needed assistance, he also went looking for her, but they were unable to locate her, now, all they could do was tend to the puppy, Mila and the small wolf grew close as was to be anticipated, she enjoyed feeding him, and she shared her grandparents affection for him even after they warned, her that he was a wild animal that should one day be set free, no matter where she went, he was always right behind her, it was not quite the same as having a puppy dog, however, he developed swiftly and soon began to exhibit his predatory tendencies, Mila, though, wasn't scared, she eventually taught him how to hunt and search for objects after helping her grandparents take care of him, she continued to come over the years, and even after he was living in the wild with a pack, he would still, occasionally show up when she was nearby, he used to come play, but gradually he would just disappear into the jungle when he spotted Mila when the entire family visited the following summer, they brought some great news with them, Mila's mother was expecting a new child, thus Mila would become an older sister, everyone was giddy with excitement, there would be a new happy addition to their group, Olga had just begun to make the infant a new blanket when they received terrible news, their son, called in from the sound of his voice, they could tell something was seriously wrong, there had been a catastrophic mishap, someone hit Mila and her mother when they were returning home after the new baby's shopping, they were stuck in the automobile for some time after rolling down an embankment, they did not get their daughter-in-law and her unborn child out of the car when Mila was ultimately saved, she was not well, even though they were terrified to visit the metropolis, they understood. That some things are more significant than fear, Victor and Olga decided to take the train to the city after packing their baggage, when their son sobbed in their arms, the journey was worthwhile, he was happy that they arrived, Mila appeared quite petite and feeble next to the white hospital bed, she grinned at them when she opened her eyes, but then reality set in, casting shadows over their innocent girl's eyes, she was unwilling to discuss the accident or her mother's silence during their 
Time stuck in the car, not only was she severely traumatized, but she was disabled as well, she was really horribly injured, but she ought to have been back on her feet by now, the paralysis was thought to be caused by the trauma she had experienced, according to the physicians, she might be able to walk once more if her mental state improved however, it appeared that she was well beyond the grasp of this greater space, Olga and Victor stayed as long as they could after the funeral, but they were unable to stay on the farm indefinitely, they had to depart. After a month, even though their friends were taking care of things, their son refused to go with them, despite Mila's pleadings, he craved solace from his daughter, he was only thinking about his own suffering, not her recovery or how much she loved the farm, no matter how much Mila pleaded or how hard they tried to explain, she was staying home, he was upset that they had not supported him, and for several months afterward, he would not allow her to visit them, if they wanted to see him, he would even make up an explanation, he just informed them that he got remarried a year after the accident, the parents were taken aback by the news, they couldn't help but wonder how Mila was handling it since they had no idea he was even interested in anyone, was the girl prepared to give up her mother's place to another woman, not even their kid would allow them to talk to her, she wasn't walking, despite his statement that he needed to adjust, they were devastated that they couldn't support her, more when she needed it most, but they were powerless to stop it, however, a few months later, things took an even more dramatic turn, the terrible events that transpired at Victor and Olga's farm went unnoticed when they spent the entire day running errands, the stepmother of Mila had become weary of living with a perpetually depressed girl, she was sick of having a wheelchair-bound girl hold her back, even if she didn't have to take care of her, when she had married a wealthy man who had a grown child, this was not what she had imagined, she planned to go shopping and maybe pretend to be the entertaining stepmother, however, that girl was a pain to take around stores and had no sense of humor, she just wanted her out of her life, Mila threatened to never have to see her again if she brought her to her grandparents' property after yet another screaming match, that was a great plan, the terrible woman thought, and with her husband away on a work trip, now was the ideal moment to take action, he would comprehend upon his return, that same day, she filled them up with all that she had packed, they then proceeded towards the woodland, the stepmother didn't give a damn if nobody was at the farm, she had no intention of bringing Mila home with her, without giving a thought to Mila's safety, she simply grabbed the girl and everything she owned out of the car and drove off, her grandparents might have been gone for a long time, for all they knew, however, the stepmother abandoned, her disabled daughter in the bush by herself, she was also unaware that a wolf had seen her and was going to do something unexpected, the fact that her stepmother wished to get rid of Mila didn't bother her, it meant she was at last where she actually wanted to be, here, on the farm, she made the decision to go wait for her grandparents while sitting in the peaceful woodland, she wheeled her wheelchair down the well-traveled path to the creek, the wheels were designed for city streets and residential buildings, not for the forest floor, that was the main issue, almost immediately, she became stuck, and it required all of her might to get the wheels turning again, at least the next section was easier, but even so, she was growing weary and hadn't yet reached halfway, however, she soon found herself moving more quickly and was unable to stop, she fell out of the chair when it struck a rock at the bottom, she was wounded and couldn't go to her chair, she then heard loud noises, like, Branches snapping, and a bear emerged from the forest, she felt really afraid, the bear approached her after taking a whiff of the air, Mila was positive that she appeared to be the simplest target it could possibly come across, her heart pounded like a drum inside her chest when she tried to remain motionless, then, suddenly, a wolf sprang between them, growling, when its pack emerged from the forest as well, the bear soon understood it was losing this battle, Mila let out a sigh of relief when, she watched the bear leave the area, however, she realized she was still in serious danger when she saw the other members of the pack drawing near her, but as the first wolf gave them a loud growl, the pack came to a standstill, she was wondering, what was happening, why was this wolf so intent on protecting her, but that's when she picked up on a weird detail, this wolf appeared eerily familiar, she was certain that she had before seen those amber eyes, however, is this the same dog that she had? Raised as a young child, it did not take her long to be positive of it, she ran her fingers through the wolf's fur, and he nuzzled his head against her damaged torso, waving his tail, this was her pal, really, 
he was familiar with her and had helped her when she most needed it, but the bear wasn't the only reason she needed assistance, she was devastated, and nobody had been able to break through the barrier she had built around herself following the death of her mother, did he realize the death of her suffering, she would never be aware of it, she was crying for the first time since she lost her mother and her future sister, but for some reason, his tender generosity tore down that wall, she made cry uncontrollably, she hadn't been able to cry since she was in such shock and disbelief, but she greeted his coat with tears as she held on to this enormous wild wolf, Victor and Olga, in the meantime, arrived home, recognized Mila should have been there, and began looking, and that's how. They discovered her, sobbing and clinging to a wolf, the sound of the people approaching caused the pack to depart, and even their wolf retreated to observe from a distance, it appeared as though he was ensuring the grandparents received this before departing, after glancing up at them, Mila decided she too wanted their tender embrace and stood up to approach them, she was walking again, but only realized when they gasped in shock, they all sobbed and returned to their cabin, her grandparents, holding her tight, she was at the perfect place at the right time, a week or so later, her father materialized out of nowhere, his folks were enraged with him, he already knew that he had been a terrible father when his daughter needed him, in addition, he was aware that he had married far too soon and had requested his new wife to leave after learning of what she had done to his daughter, his guilt for keeping Mila at a distance increased when he saw her walking, much to his surprise they all anticipated him to fight again since she wouldn't go, but they were taken aback by what he said, he was open to returning to the farm to be with his parents and daughter, in addition to the fact that he could tell his child needed it, he had grown to detest city life, it had now occurred to him that some things were more significant than his job, fortunately, he was surrounded by a loving family who would welcome him back whenever he was ready and who were prepared to wait till he discovered them. Truth for himself, they would keep an eye on him and Mila while gradually using love to heal the hurt in their hearts, they also knew that there was a wolf in the forest someplace watching out for them, 